Good evening. Thousands of people are traveling through the Albuquerque Sunport this Labor Day weekend, despite the spike in COVID cases. Let's get to News 13's Ariana Kraft. The Sunport tells us its seven day average of passengers traveling through is still down from pre pandemic numbers, but it's significantly higher from this time last year. This Labor Day weekend, travelers are on the go. I um, came out to Albuquerque to see some family and friends. Work actually brought me down here. Travelers at the Albuquerque Sunport say there are plenty of full flights. The first plane I was on was really crowded, so there was no possible way to social distance, but everybody kept their mask on and you know nobody had any issues with it. The Sunport tells us its most recent seven day average of passengers traveling through is about 11,000 per day. That's still significantly down from pre COVID numbers, but a jump from last year in the Early to mid summer, we were seeing really big increases, um, but now they're starting to level out. Some travelers say they are still taking extra precautions while flying to stay safe from COVID-19. Definitely sanitizing my hands a lot more. I have been vaccinated, but still, uh, you know, you want to take precautions. The Sunport says they're keeping up all of the same COVID safe procedures they implemented at the start of the pandemic. Additional hand sanitizer stations, plexiglass partitions on all the counters, um, social distancing indicators throughout the terminal. Visitors coming through Albuquerque say they haven't seen any problems with people following COVID-19 protocols like wearing masks and social distancing. We've seen people like no problems with the masks on. Everyone seems to be distancing. So like everything's been good. So thankfully it's been super smooth. This weekend, the Sunport is seeing roughly three times more holiday travelers than it did this time last year. Back to you. Thanks, Ariana. Airport officials say it's still difficult to predict travel numbers to determine a specific impact from COVID because the situation is constantly evolving.